Welcome back to the channel and today in the how-to series we'll cover recording voiceovers. Let's get learning! Gaming for XP, continuing the step-by-step -step guides on the how-to series. Today we're going to cover a very important subject if you're a YouTuber and that's how to record your voiceovers. And I'm going to do this in two parts. The first part I'm going to show you what my setup is like, what I use. I'll also give you some other um, recommendations on microphones. And then in part two, we'll go over the various um, methods you can use to record your voiceovers. So let's get into it. So it's a bit of a minefield, which microphone? You know, but which microphone? There's so many choices of microphone um, out there on the marketplace. And hopefully I'll break down into the various categories so that you can sort of get an idea of what they all do. Depending on what you're doing, for YouTube or Twitch or whatever it might be, you may well need more than one microphone type. And obviously budget is going to also play a part now. Today's video will give you some pointers on functionality and audio um, quality. I'm not going to recommend any particular um, microphone brand. Uh, I will give you the information and that purely is up to you because it really is determined on a number of factors of what you're doing and what you need and what your budget is. So let's get into the different microphone types now. So you would have devices, you'd have computers, you would certainly have um, cameras depending on what you're doing that have built in microphones. And if you're starting off, can you use a in built in microphone? Absolutely you can. Built-in microphones are generally what they call omnidirectional, so they will pick up pretty much everything around you, all the ambient noise, and um, unless you're very close to the, the actual microphone, it will just pick up all this uh, background noise. Now, you can use software to filter that out if you know what you're doing, um, but in effect, they're really a, an all-purpose microphone and, and very low quality. So... If you really uh, want to, if you really have no other option, then built-in microphone is a good starting point. But the recommendation really is to get a unidirectional or a bidirectional microphone. And the most common type of unidirectional microphone is what they call a cardoid microphone. And we'll explain about cardoid um, a little bit later, but let me just show you what other microphones outside the built-in microphone that you could potentially use for your channel. So you can see there's four microphone types, USB microphones, camera microphones, lavalier microphones, I hope I pronounced that correctly, and iOS microphones. So USB microphones are probably the most popular. They're the ones that basically you just plug and play into your computer. And um, I would say the majority of people that are doing podcasts or vlogging, gaming walkthroughs and etc. are uh, usually using a USB microphone. The camera microphones, I think they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, obviously, if you're going to film outside, um, even indoors, I guess. But if you're going to use any type of camera at all, um, and you want to get the sound quality, then having an external mic uh, for your camera is um, key. Lavalier microphones, you would have seen these through the various TV shows and news channels or whatever. They're really just um, the ones that clip to your lapel or wherever um, and essentially just pick up very directional uh, sound, uh, mostly for interviews. I think you would have seen them used. Or, you know, it'll give you the flexibility of moving around and being fairly mobile. And you can see you probably need a sender unit or a receiver and sender unit um, to do that. And then there is something that I didn't even know existed until I started researching iOS mics. And these are a whole lot of mics that have been developed for iPhones or phones in general, smartphones in general. And you can see by the photos, um, they just stick in via the... Um, the USB or the kind of charging port of your phone and uh, from what I can tell they are pretty good quality. Yeah. So there you go. Who knew that there were so many choices in microphones and um, 
I will now move on to show you basically what I use for Gaming for XP channel and talk a little bit about the cardoid setting that I use for my microphone. So I'm sure a lot of you would have heard of blue microphones and certainly the Blue Yeti is one of the microphone is one of the most popular for YouTubers. Um, gives great voice quality and um, has a number of options. Now when you get it, it comes with that stand, that's not how I have it set up and I will be showing it in a video fairly shortly how I set it up. But I love this microphone. It has a really nice sound quality about it. Now, I'll say up front, I'm not sponsored by Blue Microphones. I wish. So if you're listening out there, Blue Microphones, yep, I'd appreciate sponsorship now. It's not going to happen, I'm sure it's not going to happen. Um, but let's have a look at the settings that they offer. So here we go. This is the little thing that comes with your microphone. And you can see there's four different options for you. So stereo, card, cardoid, omnidirectional and bidirectional. And it's a nice little graph, this one, because it shows you, if you look very carefully, it shows you where the noise is being picked up from. And you can see bidirectional is like a two-way interview, whereas cardoid is very much picking up only the front part of the microphone. Omnidirectional and stereo are picking noises up from everywhere, if you look at that. And then if you go coming across to the left, it shows you what they recommend that you use each of these settings for. Now, I'll cut to the video of mine and show you where you can find the adjustment button. So here is the lovely Blue Yeti at the Gaming XP YouTube channel in the background. And you can see there's a pattern button and a gain button. And the pattern button is basically where... I choose exactly what setting I want to have on my microphone and some expert hand modeling of that microphone there is. So here's the definition of the different functions of the microphone. If you want to have a look at the other ones, you can just pause the video and have a little bit of a read, but I'm going to focus on the cardoid here and it really it's what it recommends is well suited to podcasts vocal performance voiceovers and instruments cardoid mind records sound sources that are directly in front of the microphone delivering rich full bodied sound and directly in front of the microphone is a very key point and i'll show you a little animation why so here's our little yeti and it's showing you the the proper um, or the recommended configuration for your microphone when you're in cardoid mode and that's really that you're talking directly at the microphone and not into the top of it and that's very important because it's been designed to pick your voice up from the front of the microphone and um, if you do it from the top you might not get the quality that you're looking for so generally how i use my microphone is that i use through earphones I have headphones plugged in, which I control the volume on the front there. I have the gain turned right down to try and um, smooth out the sound. And I have a cardoid set. And I also use a pop filter just to stop the uh, variation in uh, pronunciation of certain words. Now I have this mounted on the side of my desk with an arm. Now I should have a shock mount because you can hear any vibration you can pick up and um, so the shock mounts on order and that just cuts out any uh, vibration or noise that you get if you're using your desk so effectively that's my setup apart from the fact that I've got an arm rather than the um, the base that comes with the blue yeti the base that comes with the blue yeti you're going to have the same kind of um, problem with if it's sitting on your desk, everything that you do, every time you move something, you, you're going to hear it pretty loudly and all the, the vibration and noise is going to go up through um, the microphone and into your um, voiceover. I'd also recommend that you use headphones and I've only recently started using headphones um, as a discipline. And what that does is it actually allows you to judge the distance that you need to be from the microphone to keep the the audio fairly consistent as far as the, the wave goes and uh, so that you don't get peaks or low points and that your volume of 
Um, audio is fairly consistent. So to come back to the question on uh, about which microphone, I think depending on what you're doing and depending what you want to do with the channel, um, I've given you enough information to make a decision on what types of microphones you're going to need. Certainly the recommendation is to make sure that you have a unidirectional microphone, preferably something that's got a cardioid function, especially for voiceovers, just to make sure that you're getting that nice sound quality. And there are so many different options out in the marketplace for the different price points that you shouldn't have any problem finding something that suits what you want to do plus it sits within your budget. So guys, that's it for part one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's been informative and useful for you. In part two, we'll get into more of the software, how I record the voiceovers for the videos and then uh, some tips and tricks about what you can do to improve your audio quality. Thanks for supporting the series thank you for supporting the channel if you like this leave a like if you'd like to know more leave some comments if you haven't subscribed hit the big red button and we will catch you next time enjoy your week see ya